guys, how's things? Today I am filming a huge drugstore lipstick haul and I promised this a really long time ago, like a really long time ago. I'm only just getting around to it now. I did a huge order of loads of drugstore lipsticks. I also got sent a few from various brands. Very exciting. I am just gonna run down all of these new lipsticks that I'm so excited to feature in videos and play with and Let's get cracking. Okay, I'm gonna start with lip liners. I have recently picked up two drugstore lip liners. The first one is from NYX, and it is the NYX Suede, the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. This is a gorgeous brown toned nude. Super creamy, pigmented, easy to work with. I wear it all over my lips as a nude lipstick, but I also use it as a base for my nudes to make them last a little bit longer. I really, really like the NYX lip liners. I think they're fab, so I'm definitely gonna get some more colors. The other liner I picked up, I've heard so many people talk about, and I have already tried it because I was kindly sent this from a brand, so um, I now have two. <laughs> this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish a thousand kisses stay on lip contouring pencil and this is in the shade 11 spice this is a gorgeous kind of muted berry pink just the most gorgeous shade to overdraw your lips slightly and just fill in your lips and wear it as a lipstick i think it looks so 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 nice and it's perfect again to go under lighter nudes darker nudes berries pinks um it's just a great color really flattering great for autumn winter okay i now have got loads of lip products from sleek who were kind enough to send me out a parcel full of lip products so first i've got six liquid lipsticks i have here three metallics and three mattes so i'll start with the metallics because they're really really cool the first one i have here is in the color volcanic and this is such an interesting color it kind of has like a reflex pink and a reflex silvery green in it i think this will look really cool over like a purple lip to make it like a glittery metallic purple because it's quite a sheer formula at least this one is i haven't swatched the others i then have got rusted rose which is really pretty it's like a rose with like a pink reflex in it this one is a little bit more pigmented would look really nice on top of night moth lip pencil from mac i think that would look so cool and then finally for the metallics i'm really excited about this one this is roman copper and it is like a light copper gold this one isn't so much glittery it is more metallic the other two are a little bit more just shimmery whereas this one is like a really nice metallic soft gold so if you were doing a really bronzy makeup and then put this on I think that would look really cool. And then I have three matte liquid lipsticks, which you know are my thing. The first one is the shade Vino Vinto, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous reddish purple. I have actually worn this before. You guys went crazy for it in an Instagram post. I wore it in my like grungy prom tutorial. I would say it's a little bit streaky. The formula isn't the most opaque, but a couple of coats and it looks fine. It's a really, really stunning color. The next one I'm obviously the most excited about because it is a mauvey pink and this is in the shade Shabby Chic, which I really like the name of. This is just a beautiful mid-toned mauve nude pink. And I think it would go really nicely with the makeup I'm wearing right now. I'm excited to play with that. I hadn't even opened it. I hadn't swatched it. I like that one. Finally, from Sleek, we have another nude, um, and this is in the shade Birthday Suit, which is fitting, because it's nude. <laughs> and this one is a very peachy nude. Wow, it's a peachy pink, but it's more peach, which is a little bit more unusual. It would look really nice if I had a bit more of a tan. <laughs> look at my hands. <sighs> That's a really nice color. Okay, next I have got four lipsticks. I personally am a huge fan of a traditional lipstick. They're more moisturizing and I just love them. And I'm really glad they're starting to make a bit of a comeback. But I've got some really, really fun colors here. This first one is called Reserved and it is this really cool, like neon baby coral pink. <laughs> so this has quite a bit of white pigment in it, which means that it is like an unnatural color and stands out more on your lips. So it's like a proper neon baby peach 
pink and that is really cool for summer. Okay, the next one is in the shade Paparazzi. So these say they're long wearing, full coverage. So Paparazzi is a really beautiful plumish brown, but when you swatch it, it's definitely more of a reddish brown rather than a plum. So you can see next to the liquid lipstick, it's much more red. That one's much more plummy. That is really nice. It's pigmented, it's smooth, it's creamy. Um, I assume they're gonna set matte, but that's a really pretty color. Okay, this next one I'm excited about. This is the shade Guest List. And again, it's like a neon peach. This is more peach, less pink. It's a little bit more wearable. Definitely, definitely something I would wear on holiday. Gorgeous, bright coral, great for summer. Speaking of great for summer, the final lipstick here I have from Sleek is in the shade Flaunt It. And this is a bright orange, and you guys know how I am with my orange lipstick at the moment. I have been wearing it so much. So I'm really looking to find like the perfect drugstore orange lipstick because the ones I love are all high-end. I've got two lipsticks from Maybelline. These are the Colour Sensational Matte. So the first one I picked up is called Craving Coral. I really love the packaging of these. I like the colour. Yeah, the first one I got is Craving Coral because again, I'm looking for that perfect bright orange. Um, but this looks a little bit more red. Very, very creamy, really opaque, super duper pigmented. That's a really, really beautiful colour. Okay, I'll try that out. It's kind of like a cross between this one and this one. And then the other shade I picked up is Smoky Rose 987, which of course is a nude. There are quite a few nudes <laughs> in this video because you know how I feel about my nude lipsticks. That is a gorgeous, again, kind of mauvey toned, slightly deeper pink nude. I can tell I'm gonna like that. Okay, this will show you how long I've been wanting to film this video for. I have these Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets, Souffle de Velvet. I used one of these in my Hannah Baker makeup tutorial because I've had some of these lipsticks since then. First one is called 04 Ravy on Rose. I love, love, love the formula of these lipsticks. They're matte, but they're sheer, but they're like liquid lipsticks, but sheer. Nothing too bright, especially on the lip, but they kind of remind me of like a liquid lipstick form of the uh, Glossier lipsticks, which is sheer, but matte, but a lipstick. You know what I mean? God, that was like the longest, I'm out of breath after that. Okay, and this next one I love so much. It is the shade 07 Plum Plum Pedo. Now I think it's because of like plum plum pee dum plum 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 but I really don't think that's why that's called that. This is the most am amazing colour. It basically looks like a really intense berry lip stain on your lips and I just love the look of like naturally stained lips that make them look really juicy and plump and tinted but doesn't look like lipstick. It's just, it's sheer but it tints your lips. Oh my god. I've been wearing this quite a lot and I recommend a lot. Okay, I have one last lipstick from Bourjois and this is one of their Rouge Edition, I think just matte lipsticks. And this is in the shade Beige Trench, yet another nude. But this one's a little bit more on the greyish side of things. It was really, really creamy. I don't think this is meant to be matte because that just glided on really smoothly. It looks like a bit of a cream sheen finish. I'm more into my warm tone pinks nowadays, but I will try it on for you and we'll see how it looks. I was trying to go in brand. I have two more Maybelline ones. Sorry, two more Maybelline ones. These are the Color Sensationals. This first one I picked up is 157 More to Adore, which is a pink. So this is like a light barbie pink yeah this is creamy i just said i'm more into warm tone pinks but this is definitely on the cooler side it's got quite a lot of blue quite a lot of white in it i then also picked up 725 tantalizing taupe which is another nude <laughs> this one is quite grazy as well a little bit lighter than the one above but definitely has those kind of grazy undertones in it. We shall see if it looks good on me. I used to love Stone from MAC, but I don't really really wear those kind of colours anymore, but who knows, they may make a comeback on me. Okay, I now have four lipsticks from L'Oreal. The first one is one of their lip paints, the matte one in the shade Dead Lips, and I love that this is called Dead Lips. 
It's so tongue in cheek and I just love that. Again, this is a nude. <laughs> this is a slightly warmer, slightly deeper um, matte nude. Definitely one of my favorites, I think. Almost like a kind of souffle moussey texture. Just glides on and is completely opaque. Then I picked up three more nude lipsticks from L'Oreal. Again, other color riche lipsticks. So the first one I picked up is 235 and this is just called Nude. So this is definitely more pink. Um, that's a beautiful, beautiful nude. Definitely, definitely up my street. A little bit more glossy, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, what's this one? This one is 646 in the shade Eva. This one is a little bit brighter, a little bit more pink and a little bit darker. So pretty, really creamy again, very opaque, literally took me no work to get that colour payoff. And then finally we have JLo's Nude. And this one actually is a little bit more purple compared to Eva's It's and also Nude. It's definitely got more of that mauve undertone to it. I definitely don't recommend that you buy all of these because some of them are quite similar. <laughs> okay, we're on the last two guys, we're on the home stretch. So I've got one from Revlon and one from Max Factor. So the first one is from Max Factor and it's in the shade Rosewood 833. And this color just spoke to me. I think Rosewood is like the perfect name for it because obviously <laughs> Pretty Little Liars. But also it's like a rosy brown like rosewood get it calling it rosewood was a very clever marketing strategy i think <laughs> so again really really pigmented super opaque really creamy a slight brown slight mauve kick to it also has a bit of shimmer to it which i don't normally like i thought it was matte but i only realized when i swatched it that there were shimmers in it so that's not normally my thing but i will give it a go last one i'm actually out of breath <laughs> So this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour in the shade Seduction. And this is really nice and pigmented and opaque. I've said the same thing for every single lipstick basically. This is definitely more on the nude pink side of things. A bit warmer toned than some of the others. That's a gorgeous formula. The ones at the bottom are much glossier. The matte lipsticks are much glossier than the liquid matte lipsticks, as you can see. So if you like a really, really matte finish, then go for the liquid lipsticks. Um, if you want something a bit more comfortable, as I said at the beginning, the lipsticks rather than the liquid lipsticks are probably a safer bet for you. So those are all of my new drugstore lipstick purchases. I will link every lipstick I have shown in order down below so you can find them easily. I'll do direct links. Definitely comment down below which one is your favourite and also which ones you'd like me to use in tutorials coming up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day and I will see you very soon.